All right, if you've ever tried to find a parking space on the street in downtown Raleigh, you know the struggle is real. Sometimes <laughs> drivers circle for quite a while, you know how that is, to find an open spot. Yeah, the city of Raleigh is spending time and money investigating those frustrations, and the results could mean asking you to put more money in your meter. Heather Wallaga looking into that for us. She's live along McDowell Street. Hopefully she found parking. Heather's going to tell us how much we could be forking over. Well, Joel, Anna, some of the recommendations include raising on-street parking prices from a dollar an hour to a dollar twenty-five, even a dollar fifty an hour, and also extending meter hours until nine or ten p.m. Consultants also want to charge a fee in the city's parking decks around the clock. Right now, the city manages about thirteen hundred metered parking spaces and about thirty-four hundred free time-controlled parking spaces. But the study found things like new residential developments and expanding nightlife and special events are putting a strain on the existing parking system downtown. And 93% of the city's deck parking is leased out, leaving few spaces for future growth. People we talked with today think the current parking fees are fair, but raising them, they say, could keep people from wanting to come downtown altogether. I do rely on it for any guests that come to my apartment um, and then it's become like it becomes a struggle of having to move my car and having to fill the meter and having to go back and fill the meter again so I think if they raise it any more then they might start having some issues. I think for this city that's uh, too expensive uh, like you know there are not much attractions also here right mm -hmm. so I think dollar is uh, fair enough mm -hmm. for this space. Now, as of now, the city council has not committed to any of these recommendations. The city's mayor says she is open to some of them if it doesn't weaken the downtown economy. Ahead at 6, what one business owner says it's doing that's hurting her customers and why she says it could hurt other businesses here in downtown. Live in Raleigh, Heather Wallaga, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. All right, Heather, thank you.